Well, it's another new day, and um, it was a good. Uh, we had a good long walk yesterday. It was a great uh, adventure going over the bridge, over to Patriots Point, looking at the amazing airplanes and uh, and uh, the ship itself. It's it's always been amazing to me to see how those guys lived at sea while they were defending our nation. Um, I remember working with Easy Way Insulation in, on Hanahan Road in North Charleston. I don't know if they're still there. But we would go and insulate with Calisil some of the lines inside those battleships that would be in the port of Charleston. And um, I don't think we ever worked on an aircraft carrier. But I remember, I remember going onto ships down in the engine rooms. We would, uh, we would wrap chill water lines, and uh, we'd put calisil around other lines, and then wrap them with metal. So the only uh, experience inside of a ship that I ever had was insulating pipes, and that that didn't give me a lot of time to look around and enjoy the atmosphere. But I always, I always remember thinking, man. Imagine living at sea like this. I went to Navy basic training training in Chicago, but I never made it to a ship because uh, my knee had gone out, and uh, so I, I got a medical discharge DD-214 from the Navy. Um, that was after I had gone through Army basic training in Fort Dix, New Jersey. So I had a lot of basic training, but I never actually made it to a service point. I think what happened there was God was guiding me towards a disciplined lifestyle. After one basic training, then going to another basic training, I see inside myself that I have uh, a certain level of obedience ingrained in me because of uh, the training I had in my youth, starting at 17 years old. And um, in the Bible, we see that unrighteousness reigned until Christ came. And when Christ came, the hope in God was that righteousness would now reign after we've seen what righteousness looks like. Because there was no example of righteousness before Christ. Let's ponder that today as we, we looked at what God required of Himself. We looked at what we should... Uh, what God requires of us, and we looked at what Satan tries to require from us in order to enslave us. Let's look at what we should require from ourselves as obedient children to God today. Okay? Mary and Austin, I love you so much. I'm thinking about you. Last night was awesome. I imagined, little man, I imagined you and me running around looking at the airplanes while mommy maybe was taking pictures. And, uh, I don't know, I had a good time. <laughs> I wish you two were there with me, and uh, I thank you all the time. These are some of the things I imagine uh, that come, when it comes to my thoughts, I'm like, well, let's cross the bridge as a family. That'll be our evening adventure. And uh, so I'm going to share those videos when I get on uh, into the library and get online. And, uh baby you have a great day today I hope you're all smiles and I hope you're glowing son I hope you have an adventurous day today too and uh, daddy loves you honey I love you so much and uh, let's have another day fourth of July is coming we're gonna try to figure out where the fireworks are gonna be okay 